Uh, what you doing? <laughs> your laundry, your laundry's really easy to do. I know that's right. Okay. Do that man laundry. I know what you're doing. Come to your laundry, when you come upstairs, I'm gonna be doing it as laundry. Mm, he finna fold your ass up, girl. Sorry. There's a lot of girls with me right now. Got a lot of drugs with me right now. But I'd rather just get high of you. Cause he doesn't feel the same. And a lot what is good? Diamond Knight and Steve, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. All right, man. We got a video from Kim from the Voice for the People React. We're gonna react to this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another lit ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the Diamond Life 888. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend today. Ain't your mom today? Oh, Joe, he's still a hoe. Let's get right into the video, man. Let's get it. I get an eyelash in my eye almost every fucking day because my eyelash is long as fuck. But yeah, let's try to get through this. It's only four minutes and 45 seconds. Good night. Oh my God, guys. I might have to leave y'all right quick. Oh man. So recently, Deanna posted up a picture and people were pointing out a hickey on her neck. And then Ken actually posted up a video and people were pointing out that it was a hickey on his neck. And Deanna basically <laughs> came and shut that boob down. She posted mm. up a picture of her and Jasmine together, which that picture is now going viral. And if you can see, Jasmine is on the side of her neck. She pulled in real tight. It looked like an intimate picture. Whatever was basically full. Could be, could be just a regular picture and all off guard, you know, that wasn't meant to be taken that way. All right. Somebody said that Diara is very strategic, so it could be very right. Let me pants typed in the motherfucker. God damn. But anyway. Well, what happened? Hold on. Like I said, Diara and Ken are probably still friends because you can't be right. six months exactly. away. But Especially when y'all were in business and stuff like that, man, and y'all were a couple for so fucking long. Those feelings just don't go away. Those emotions don't just don't go away. And when they do go away, you still kind of have that love for that person, okay? But that's just me. If I've ever loved you, I will always have a spot in my heart for you. You know what I'm saying? Even if you did me dirty or whatever the case was, if I ever had love for you, I always will type shit. As far as them being anything but friends, I highly care. <laughs> but since we're talking about Diara's new boo, Jasmine, when Diara met Jasmine, Jasmine, she was in a student's relationship with another girl. She what? left that girl to be with Diara. Where have I been? How did I not know? This just goes to show that you honestly do not know what the fuck be going on in these people's lives other than what they show you. To judge somebody based off of just what you see on the internet, that person could be totally different but we only have what's in front of our faces to quote unquote give our opinion, right? So it is what it is. And that girl- That's crazy though. Has been in her feelings about the whole situation. Damn. And when the picture was hosted of the era- She probably feel like she can't compete with Dee Dee. Jasmine together. Shout she out Dee Dee. posted, she said, real love will hold on you. You get the best version of me when I know I can trust you. It's mm. crazy how someone can go from talking to you every day, all day to- She's just completely not talking to you at all. Who the fuck raised you? you like, bitch ass nigga. Why is this girl still The past is just a memory. On it's six months later. But keep in mind that her and Jasmine were together for five plus years. Mm. So honestly, they both have something kind of in common. They were both in long-term relationships, both broke up with their long-term partners, and now I guess trying to find themselves and their own individuality and just trying to find their own way on their own journey. So I can kind of understand why they would relate and why they would kind of click, you know? Y'all got something in common. G, they were supposed to get married. They were very serious before the Eric came into the picture. Y'all let me out comments down below. Let me, let me find out did he like that for China. No. Let me find out. Which I'm thinking. So let's talk about what I recorded yesterday because since <laughs> then there's been new receipts that has been released. And supposedly this girl is claiming that her and Corey have been talking for a while. Like now yesterday Corey went live and said that any messages that this girl had is holding shot. But the only messages that I had. Honestly, as much drama as Carmen and Corey be in purposely, I would not be surprised if they just had a girl come up with this story to be back on the shade room and back in the fucking news, okay? I would not be surprised. It could be a real situation from a clout chasing ass motherfucker, or it could be a real situation in general to where she really was fucking with Corey. But I honestly feel like this is just some fake ass shit on either the girl's part or the whole thing was orchestrated just for more views, once again, and more publicity have seen is this message. I haven't seen anything other than that. She said that she has pictures, she has messages, she hasn't she ain't got shit, girl. To the public or she ain't got shit. At this point, Carmen doesn't even 
believe her because she, she just said that she's been looking through all of his phones and she doesn't see any text messages or pictures. And the girl is claiming that, oh, he has more than one phone. But sis, if it's text messages, you have the messages. Right. You can't unsend the messages. She think we so stole, we ain't stole. Send the messages to Armin or just leave the situation alone because some of It was a cloud move. She's trying to cloud up. Not add it up. If the only messages the public have seen is these messages. Now, I reached out to the girl, and some of the things she's saying is just not adding up. So, I wouldn't be so fast to accuse Hori because Hell no. the story is a little shaky. He ain't and do that shit. And the person that interviewed the majority he of the that, that Corey has cheated on Harmon with. So, and maybe she thought that people would be dumb enough to believe it because Corey has been into, been in so much shit over the years with Carmen or behind Carmen. So... Niggas are gonna automatically assume that he probably did, you know, he probably did some fuck shit again. But you can just tell something is off with this girl, man. I believe it was a tea room. Anytime a tea room would ask um, this girl, you know, what other receipts do you have? She ain't have shit. You had quote unquote dick pics, maybe that nobody can verify because nobody knows what his dick looks like and nobody wants to see that shit. And anyway, you're gonna get flagged. She ain't got no motherfucking proof. I don't believe her. All right, show me the motherfucking receipts and then we can talk about it. Let's move on to the next goddamn to topic, y'all. This has gotten beyond me. <laughs> y'all, before my page was disabled three weeks ago, I had 88,000 followers. What does that mean? You still ain't got no motherfucking receipts. Where are your receipts? Corey, do you know how many celebrities athletes was in my company? <laughs> I knew that. I seen this last night. Hey, it was getting a little frisky. When you gonna stop playing? Man, I'm and I, bro, I'm trying to stream and I'm coming. So you say? I feel, I feel a little better. So you saying leave you alone? Nah, nah, I Look at the position. This she in right now, bro. Screen, I'm upstairs. Queen is coming. You, you coming upstairs for this? <laughs> I love it, man. I'm gonna just say this. I was one of the people who was very skeptical and very against Clarence in that whole situation. Cause I just felt like the vibe wasn't right. I felt like he was probably try trying to use her or whatever the case may be. But once again, you don't see half of what really goes on behind the cameras. But I just gotta say, that I just love to see the evolution and growth of what they look like on camera. Cause I don't know them people in real life, but just the evolution and the growth, it's just great to see them look happy, you know, look like they're in something healthy and look like they really give a fuck about each other and all of that, you know? Um, man, I'm happy for them. I really have to say, let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below, man. My thoughts and opinions have definitely changed from when they first started talking to now, I must say, all right? Um, but Queen is stupid as fuck, yo. Know the vibe. <laughs> Look at she crawling on the floor, you know the man. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you know the vibe. It's been a few days. It's been a few days, right? That's okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll leave your life alone. Yeah, let me see it one more time. Let me see it one more time. You want me to move it? Okay. <laughs> Yo, yeah, it's loud. Okay, yeah. X me on. What you doing? <laughs> <laughs> your laundry. Your laundry's really easy to do. I know, that's right. Okay. Do that man laundry. I know what you're doing. I'm doing your laundry. Can you come upstairs? I'm going to be doing it. Mm, you finna fold your ass up, girl. Say less. Say less. Once I'm done with this, Babe. he finna get you all the way together. She's so <laughs> stupid. What? Okay. I love you. Bye. Yeah, you can't say they're not cute, man. You cannot say that. But anyway, I love you guys so freaking much. I appreciate y'all for watching this motherfucking video. Make sure you smash that like button, fart on it, goddamn DDT it, motherfucking stomp that bitch out, all right? Like it, 
Uh, make sure that you do comment down below. Make sure that you also subscribe to the motherfucking YouTube channel. Hit that bell and also select all notifications so you get all of my motherfucking notifications because YouTube be motherfucking playing. DM me at the Diamond Life 888. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend of today. Ain't Jamal today. Uncle Joe, he's still a hoe. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Yo, I love y'all, man. Peace. We all baby have a happy motherfucking Friday and a great weekend. I love y'all, man. Thank you.